Okay, today we're doing a service on a 2005 Land Cruiser Prado. Got the 3 litre turbo diesel motor in it. We're doing a transmission service. The dipstick's down here on the driver's side, or on the right hand side of the motor. We'll just suck the oil out first, makes it a little bit less messy. And if you don't have a vacuum pump, you can loosen it here at the uh, drain plug there. And with these, the filler tube, or half of the filler tube comes off with the pan. So just make sure you clean up here where the joint is before you take it off as well, as well as around the pan. And to make things a little bit easier, we'll just take this little stone guard off as well, just to, so we've got better access at the front of the transmission. And this one's got the A340 transmission in it, and you'll notice that the pan hasn't actually got a gasket there, it's been selastic on. So you've got to get a little scraper or something very thin, being very careful not to damage the pan or bend it. And also the pan rail, don't gouge out of there as well. So just very gently and slowly you'll have to work that until you can loosen it enough to get it off. I've got that wedged in there, you can see. It. This one's actually come off quite easily. There we go. So they've had a bloody good run out of it, 338,000 Ks, but you can see the magnets are completely chock a block. So they wouldn't be doing their job anymore. And what happens, that fine metal now would have been attracted to these solenoids. We'll just scrape all that gasket off, or the celastic, and we'll just whiz off that filter as well. And they're just 10 mil, 10 mil bolts. Now these filters, there are a few different types. You want to make sure that the snorkel's the same, same height, like that one. And also the pickup holes. These have three pickup holes. So just Confirm that when you're putting your new one on. Another thing up here on the filler tube, just make sure that that O-ring's nice and pliable there where my finger is, you can't see from that light. But you want to just make sure that the O-ring's going to actually seal there, especially if you do a bit of four-wheel driving, you don't want to get water in, in through the filler tube there. Okay, we've cleaned all that elastic off. Got the gasket on. And another thing I like to do, as per usual, is put these magnets up, up on these little ridges there. Just to get more surface area of the magnet working, collecting all that rubbish. You don't want that rubbish attracted to the solenoids, so it's a good idea to either put more magnets in or get these ones working a little bit better. And you can actually even put them over that little channel there. The channels are designed to catch any heavy rubbish as well. And when you're putting it on, just make sure if, if you move the position of the magnets that it's not going to be in the way of anything. We've got the pan back on. Just be very careful you don't misalign these holes on the gaskets. Uh, very easy to do on these. And while you're under there, you just have a quick check. Check your unis, check your front and rear diff, check your, see this one's got a bit of a leak there on the transfer case. On the Tritec website, and they recommend the ATF Multitrans full synthetic fluid. And now we start it up, go through the gears. These ones, you've got to test the oil level at operating temperature, so we'll do that after we check it. We're a little bit above the, light, the cold mark, and you can see up here is where the hot mark is, those little notches there. A little bit hard to see, my camera can't focus. But I'll take it for a run, warm it up, and we'll just make sure it's up, up here where my thumb is. 
we're up here on the bottom hot mark but still not very hot so that should be right anyway hope that's helped thank you for watching